Good morning. This is another in the continuing series we're doing on the Russian geometry pyramid research carried out by Dr. Andrew Alexander Golod and his team of scientists in Russia and the Ukraine over the last 20 to 25 years. Today we're going to begin discussions of some of the anomalous uh, results achieved uh, when looking at pyramid energy and its impact on various substances uh, that occur uh, in nature. And today we're going to look at water. Uh, there's a classic experiment that was done by Dr. Golod and their team where they took uh, water and put it into plastic bottles. This was distilled water. And they placed it outdoors in a uh, pyramid uh, during the Russian winter. And uh, long story short, uh, despite severely below freezing temperatures, uh, the water did not freeze. So uh, if you look at the uh, first page here, you're going to see it's entitled Russian Geometry Pyramid Water does not freeze until disturbed. The methodology here, plastic bottles of distilled water kept in the pyramid over the course of uh, three winter months. During this time, the air temperature in the pyramid sank as low as uh, 38 degrees below zero or uh, minus 38 degrees centigrade, and that's uh, minus 34 degrees Fahrenheit. And the results of the experiment, thermometers inside the bottle revealed that the temperature of the water remained in a liquid form and would not turn into ice despite the sub-freezing temperatures. However, if the water was shaken or bumped in any way, it would immediately start crystallizing and quickly turn into a block of ice, suggesting that the presence of the torsion wave energy was able to keep the water molecules from crystallizing into ice. Yet a simple disruption of the harmonic stillness of the water could cause this equilibrium to disappear and ice would quickly form. The picture I'm holding up now is a picture of, uh, this is actually uh, Dr. Golod uh, inside uh, one of the pyramids that he had constructed. Um, and he's demonstrating uh, this uh, phenomenon with a bottle of the distilled water in the middle of the winter time. Now I've actually uh, linked at the bottom in the comments section uh, that video so you can all watch this. It's really fascinating to see these uh, water crystals form uh, after Do Dr. Golod uh, hits the side of the bottle. Uh, wraps it, and then you see the ice crystals form immediately. So check that out after you're finished here if you're interested, because it's really an interesting video to watch. Now in terms of why this works and how it works, uh, I, there's not a lot of uh, 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 data beyond what I've given you, but I'm going to give you some facts that I have uh, gleaned from doing water research and uh, studying structured water. Um, a book that is uh, helpful in this regard is The Fourth Phase of Water by Dr. Gerald Pollack, the leading um, scientist in the United States on water and its various uh, uh, phases. Uh, the Fourth Phase of Water is really the term for structured water, uh, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with or at least have heard that term. So if you look at the next slide, um, you know, this is a depiction of uh, liquid water on the left with molecules in a more or less random fashion. And then we see solid ice. And if you look at the, 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 the diagram of the solid ice, you're going to see that it um, arranges itself in sheets of hexagons uh, and that this pattern uh, in, the, in the form of ice actually has periodically some very strong hydrogen bonding, which uh, is what uh, causes the water to actually freeze into an ice form when it's below zero. Now, we don't have time to go further than just a little bit more detail, but there's an intermediate structure between the liquid form and the solid form, which is uh, that of structured water. 
Uh, structured water has the same basic hexagonal uh, structure, but it does not have the strong hydrogen bonding between the layers of the um, ice crystals. You can, you can kind of visualize that hexagon as extending over, as, a, as a sheet, and then there's another layer of hexagons in another sheet. And when the water is in a structured form but not ice form, uh, that, uh, the distance between those sheets is very tiny. But when the, hydrogen, the strong hydrogen bonding occurs, uh, that gap widens between the sheets. And actually, that's what causes the phenomenon uh, that's been studied, that um, uh, liquid water uh, takes up the most volume. And actually, uh, water uh, in the so-called structured form right before it freezes actually uh, becomes more compact and takes up less, less space. But then once again, once it hits that freezing point, uh, those hydrogen bonds uh, expand the, uh, the, the distance between these uh, hexagonal sheets of water and create ice. So apparently what's happening in some way is that these strong hexagonal bonds are uh, not allowed to be uh, formed, is my theory, um, uh, as it traditionally would be uh, at a freezing temperature. And I think that this has to do, as, um, as the results indicate, that this may be due to uh, the torsion wave energy having an impact on that hydrogen bonding. Uh, anyway, it's a f fascinating phenomenon, and uh, it just shows you the power uh, again, of the pyramid energy in a different context, uh, and one that uh, certainly deserves more study and research. I hope this has been uh, helpful and informative. Uh, as always, ask your friends to uh, stop by and visit us on Only PVC Pyramids on the YouTube and OnlyPVCPyramids.com. While you're on YouTube, uh, please be sure to uh, like our videos and subscribe to our channel. Hope this has been helpful and you have a great day.